Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today, we are taking a Shop With Me trip to Coach Retail for some brand new releases. And for this Shop With Me trip, it might get a little juicy. Look carefully at the I really wish I weren't here right now button. But before we hop into the Coach Retail Shop With Me trip, if you guys love handbags, hauls, coach, luxury, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that ever-changing, ever-growing YouTube Al Go Rhythm. Now y'all know exactly what time it is. It's time to get Percy with a coach retail shop with me trip to Yorkdale, Toronto. And yes, it does get juicy in today's video. Starting off hot and heavy though, we're gonna be looking at the Avery shoulder bag with patchwork. A stunning piece, very beautiful. Leather felt good. I mean, the leather, textures were very inconsistent but they felt nice a full leather bag we love to see it gorgeous piece and it does say it's crafted from dead stock leather jackets so okay that's cool recraft some things that aren't in use things that don't get sold but what's not cute what's not pleasant is the price six hundred hundred and ten dollars that is a camera bag you're trying to sell me six hundred and ten dollars for a camera bag are you high <sighs> beautiful it is so beautiful but that i'm telling you right now there's no way in hell that is even remotely close to being worth that much money because these aren't actually like these are leather jacket bags so that means the leather wasn't actually like tanned. That doesn't mean the leather went through an actual process. They took leather jackets that were just sitting there and then they repurposed them. Why on earth is this so expensive? And then the Harley shoulder bag is $850. $850 for the Harley shoulder bag with patchwork that is so unacceptable that is beyond unacceptable i mean like this is a really gorgeous bag and if it weren't for that price point this would be on my wish list for a bit unacceptable price unacceptable and sadly they're selling out online i don't know what's up with people i don't know why i again people see me as a discount queen and as like some cheap out so I find it unacceptable, but I guess others find it awesome. Sure. Beautiful bags, though. Like, I'm not going to harp on that. I'm not going to harp on that. The quality is amazing. Though you can tell that some of those leather jackets weren't the highest quality, but stunning pieces. And what's also really pretty is the Harley Shoulder Bag 23 in sequins. Very festive, very pretty, and very catchy. six hundred and seventy dollars canadian so it's a full leather bag still so it's in that kind of like acceptable price point but at the same time like they're still trying to sell that camera bag for six hundred and ten dollars and they got the harley shoulder bag sitting right beside it for an extra like 60 bucks insanity but moving on to elegance we got the idol bag 23 with a really irritating clasp. I could not open this for the life of me. I thought it was broken. But it's one of those buckles 
that you gotta push down on. You have to push down on it. There's no actual clasp. I think there might be a light magnet in it to make sure it's secure. But other than that, I don't like the clasp. Very elegant, stunning piece. But that clasp was just a complete turnoff for me. Like, if you like that, go ahead. But for me, I was just like, I, mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. that's no, I like a nice, easy open, not a press down and then unclamp to open. Like, that was just too much for me. But again, with that full grain leather, mm -mm -mm, delicious. $670 for the Idol Bag 23. $850 for the original Idol Bag, or you can size down for $670. $200 less. I feel like that should be the price for the Idol Bag itself. $670 should be the Idol Bag price itself. And then this should be $500. Easily. And then getting a quick size comparison with both beside each other. And then like the nice ivory color. So I was casually just minding my own business as I always do in coach. And the, the one lady comes up to me and says, you know, we don't do that. And I'm like, excuse me, you don't do what? Like, I, you know, I'm not allowed to film now. That doesn't make any sense. I, you heard my, re you heard my response and what she said. That was completely uncalled for. Like, I'm so sorry, but like, I'm like half expecting now that I'm not going to be allowed to film and coach anymore. How bizarre. Like, that lady just came up to me uninterrupted and was just like, you can't do that. And I'm like, what? There's five photos at most about each bag in store. That doesn't help anybody. $610, by the way, for the Harley shoulder bag with studs. Size 23. There... Some people are just very disrespectful. I'm just going to say it. Like, I wasn't bothering anybody. You guys, the footage is clear as day. I don't get it. And there, nothing will compare a photo to a 4K video. Sorry, not sorry. Your photos online do not help with the actual product in person. I... You guys know how I feel about that, so that's where I'll end it on that. I'm just half expecting not to be able to film and coach anymore. I really hope that's not the case. I really hope not. You give a little bit of constructive criticism and all of a sudden you're the devil to these brands. It's bizarre. Next up, though, is the Sequin Theo. I think this is the Theo tote. And what's interesting about the Theo tote, not only is it a massive bag, it, it uses vegetable tanned leather. But looking at that leather tag, that didn't look so cute to me. It has suede on the inside, I guess. And like the vegetable tanned leather, it looks like it's like a crackled leather almost. It looks like that could easily peel. I don't like that leather that much. We should stick to our gloved hand. Seventeen hundred dollars. One thousand seven hundred and what ten dollars? For that? I know that the Theo tote itself, like the original, was like two thousand two hundred. These prices, ma'am, they are shoving us out. They they want to push for high end luxury, and these prices are proving it. I, I have a feeling in two to three years' time, this is going to be the average price for a coach bag. Stunning piece, though. And 
And then lastly, we got my favorite piece in today's video, and that is the men's faux fur leopard uh, sweater jacket thing. I love this. I really love this. If I had the money, I would have walked out of the store with this. Like, I still love this brand, you guys. Like, I hope people don't take my, like, constructive... Con this is constructive criticism. Like, it really is. I just hope people don't take that to heart. Because, like, it's just a brand. These are just products. $610. If that goes 50% off, ma'am, I am taking it. <laughs> Oh, There's she's taking it. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, 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 a hundred people